In this video, I'll be discussing the defining characteristics of ancient burial sites for the rich and powerful. In ancient times, the privilege of having an extravagant burial was limited to royalty. However, the purpose of extravagant burial sites were to prepare royalty for the afterlife. William Met Professor Richard Francavilla argues that the purpose of burial sites is to provide suitable symbols to refer to and express man's hope for immortality and to reduce his anxiety and fear about death. Investigations of ancient burial sites within Egypt, America, and China have provided historians with long evidence for people of antiquity's belief in lavishly preparing royal tombs for the afterlife. The first royal burial site we will be taking a look at is that of the young King Tutankhamun. Tutankhamun is most famous for his tomb which was discovered intact and undisturbed in 1922. The contents of his tomb gives us insight into the purpose of his lavish burial. Among the various artifacts found in his tomb is the jeweled falcon that represents the sun god. The Ankh sign above each talent stands for life. Grasping each talent is the sign of infinity. This artifact is evidence of the Egyptian belief of immortality in which the boy king would once again rise to power. This artifact would have been buried with him as proof of his status and right to the throne in the afterlife. The next civilization burial rituals that we will be taking a look at is that of the Mayans. The Mayan people buried their royalty adorned in clothing that according to ancient beliefs gave deceased rulers the divine power to rise up and enter the celestial realm transformed as the maze god. This assurance of a resurrection as a god was meant to ease the fear of death. Mayan burial customs provide us with evidence of a strong Mayan belief in an afterlife where those who are found to have lived a worthy life may live forever. Mayan grave goods consist of food, jade jewelry, marble pieces, pottery, masks, figurines, and exotic shells. Artifacts such as these were only found within royal tombs. It is also worth noting that the Mayans believed that grave goods themselves held a mystical power that allowed for the resurrection and transformation of the dead. The last burial site we will discuss is that of the first emperor of China, Emperor Qing Shi Hong. The emperor's mausoleum is famous for containing the strikingly lifelike terracotta army. The army of clay soldiers is said to have been created to serve the emperor in the afterlife. This extensive preparation within the emperor's tomb is evidence of the emperor's need for a vast army to establish or maintain power during the afterlife. Current estimates are that in the three pits containing the terracotta, terracotta army, there were over 8,000 soldiers, 130 chariots, with 520 horses, and 150 cavalry horses, the majority of which are all still buried in the pits near Queen Cheng Hong's mausoleum. Thank you for watching our video.